be you know's first time going in the trailer he's hesitating i have like a pound of pressure and then i just wait okay and be ready they could get scared and and bolt up you can see he's already hesitating okay so i just need to go slow because i don't want a reaction from him i want to keep this just mellow keeping my body language and my my energy mellow see how he's kind of reacting his body's quivering a little bit he's like what is this door okay he thought about going but he stayed with me all right now i can pay him all right i want to create a willing partner now i don't expect him just to jump in here we've He's had two days stepping up, teaching him how to step up. He's investigating the area by the trailer, which is good. I'm gonna release that pressure right now because he's looking and investigating the trailer. Okay, so now I can tie this. I can tie this here <clears throat> so that he can't pull away and it's a quick release knot guys this rope is so stiff there we go okay now i have both of my hands free so i can help direct or reward him okay. his first time here guys other than when we brought him home If he creates slack, I'm going to leave him alone. He's investigating the trailer. He's smelling it. That's all good stuff. My goal is just to keep his head pointed in the direction I want him to go. He's very hesitant, but he took a step forward. I can pay that right now. And as he gets closer, I can shorten up this rope or I can move it farther back. And this is all something we just want to practice to get them comfortable. When they do first start loading in the trailer and you go somewhere on short trips as practice trailering, they could be all sweated up. Seamus used to get very sweated up in the trailer. His ears and his neck, his belly would be all sweaty from a 15-minute trailer ride. But the more we do it, the more comfortable they get. Good boy. Good boy. There he's still investigating, thinking he's not backing away. There he goes. It's okay if they back away. Okay, he can only back so far. He's just got the length of this lead rope. There he wants to go. You can also use a flag behind him to help encourage that forward movement. But I'm not in a rush. And it's not like a flag always, always works, but often it will. We'll see if I can encourage him to take a step up. I think they're a good boy. I'm rewarding him. I'm paying him, guys, right now because he picked up his foot. He was thinking about putting his foot in there. Again, my goal is just to keep his head faced the right direction. He has um, tension on the lead rope right now. There, he created that looseness. Okay, so th this is, uh, with having it tied here, it's a very quick pressure and release. It's a very quick way for him to learn because he's creating the pressure and release. Step. Good boy. He picked up his foot, guys. He picked up that front foot. We're not wanting this to be stressful for him. And it might be. It's going to be a little bit stressful no matter what. But we're... good boy. Good boy. Here. Here. So now he's in here. I'm going to pay him. 
Oh, but he's too nervous to eat right now. Okay, so I'm going to get this untied. And then I'm going to try to pay him. If he's got to go, that's okay. But you see how he's not eating? That's because he's nervous, guys. He's starting to come down from his nervousness. And I'm just going to pay him in here. This is really good. His first time in the trailer. And I just want to make it comfortable and good, pleasant experience for him. Right? That's really good, buddy. Good job. Good boy. Now, just because he went in once doesn't mean he's trained for the trailer. So we're going to have to practice this. And I'll have him come in and out right now a couple, two, three more times. And then we'll start having him come in and out most days that we work with him. Hay bags, I teach that separately because hay bags are very scary to them, the way they move. Okay. And now when I bring them out, Paul, make sure you're not in the way. When I bring them out, again, I need to be careful so I don't get jumped on. So I'm going to come down and get out of the way. Good boy. And I'm going to pay him for coming out too. Ah, stay with me, buddy. Good boy. Okay, I want this whole thing to be a good experience for him. Now I can come in here and tie this. And that way he can't pull the rope out of my hand. We'll see if he'll just come right back in though. Good boy. He's thinking about it, guys. Good boy. Step. He picked up his foot. Oh, good job, you know. Good boy. Okay, you got to be careful so when they're turning and stuff that you're not getting in the line of fire for their double barrels. Because they could get pretty worked up. They sure could. But that was really good. His second attempt in here, and I didn't have to tie him up. And now we'll practice going in and out one more time. And that'll be the end of his training today. So today for his training, we reviewed the step which we taught separate from the trailer. I want him to turn and face and turn me, right? Because from here, I would probably be getting another animal out. Or I might need to close the door. So we, again, we reviewed stepping. And then we reviewed his feet. And now we're teaching him something new. It's really good to review things he already knows before you ask for something new. Good boy! Okay, I could tell he was going to come in even before he did. All right, guys, so here's another training, uh, trailer loading episode for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful.